What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Jad here from Poopa Plow playing some more Farming Simulator 22. We are back on Alma, Missouri. Let's get to it. Hello? 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 Hi. Hi. Is the server working? You guys did it again? <laughs> guys, I just told you guys right before stream, don't do this again. You guys had to keep the hype train going long enough to do this again, didn't you? Four minutes. That's all it took. Four <laughs> minutes. I'm really glad that I spent a whole bunch of time the other night putting tractors away so that you guys would know where they all are. You know? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, uh, boys. Yeah. At least they weren't chanting this time, chat, you know? Well, you weren't in here sitting someplace we couldn't surround you. Oh, that's true. I hadn't. Oh, that's where I didn't click in. All right. So, any hoozles. Um, where's the. Hold on. Where's that one tractor at? Is it out in the field still? Which one? Uh, versatile. Oh, we don't know where that one's at. We didn't touch that one. I started it back up in that field when I came. Oh, is it that the was. Dot? Oh, there it is. Okay. I just need to. I want to get it going and then cancel the thing so that we don't see the, the, the you know, the, the course, you know? Mm -hmm. I know Dan would have had this done, but I had the server turned off last night, so. <laughs> yeah. Looks like an, it does, yeah. All right, so what are we doing? We are, I think, about. I need to check the cows, right? Cows are good. Cows are good. They're full. They, they, the slurry, though, I just don't know what to do with yeah, all know of it. What we're going to do with that. We got to do something, but I guess it's full. It's a later us issue. Uh, we need to get a truck to the uh, corn dryer and fill it up with propane before we fast time. There's 59,000 corn left to dry. Although, I guess, what time of the month is it? Or the year? It doesn't matter. Never August. mind. It doesn't have to be done before we fast time, though. Uh, but I think we're ready to fast time. Otherwise, right? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think so. I'm not harvesting those beets up there, so. Hang on, I don't know if I can find my way to the freaking front door. What do you mean? Blogger, what's going on? How are you? Yo, this one over here. Hang on. This, this, I think it's the ADAR. Maybe? Y'all just triggered a memory for me. Hang on. Got to wait for this thing to. Come on. Eventually. One day. Someday. Today. Yeah. Yeah. This is how Grandpa used to park his uh, 80, 80 10 that he had, his Alice. The three point hitch would be touching a post in our big shed. There's all kinds of marks on the post in our in our shed from the, the three point hitch. Uh, move that one up to the left. Up to the left. We're parking our equipment oh, back. We're, parking. we're we're putting all of our stuff back that we got out. Even though we're gonna have to pull some of this out to use for choppers and everything. Yeah, I was gonna say well, that's our next step. Do we buy a chopper or do we buy the baler? That's the question tonight. Baler, probably. Chat, what do you think? Chopper or baler? That's what we're gonna be doing first tonight. Chopping. Excuse me, friendly. Excuse me, pardon me, as he runs me over. Might, might as well leave this guy out, because we're going to use this. Uh, Choppa. I don't know which one we can afford. We have a million dollars. Well, the... Get a lightsaber and cut the tree for May 4th. Turn on. I mean, if we get the baler, we can get wagons, because we need those, too. Uh, that is true. The choppers are going to be very uh, spendy. I would say get the wagons for sure. I'd say wagons and baler because that's probably going to be all of our money right there. Is that too much light, chat? I feel like I, I adjusted my lights the other night. And then I just turned them up a little more and it might be too much. I feel like it's too much. It's too much. Hold on. Get to the chopper. Loud. Uh, let's go like right there on that light. So, uh, so left, how long do you want to be here for? Why? Oh, <laughs> yeah, uh, 
<laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> that. Oh no. Let me at least park everything first. <laughs> what am I missing? Don't worry. You'll know. We, you'll Listen, know we're, we're, you know. we got a class lesson for everybody. Yeah. You can thank Black Cat for this because he taught me. I had to learn. Left had to learn. Mark I want to learn. Tell me. Learn. You want to learn? <laughs> you're not going to be. I don't know how happy you're going to be with this one. <laughs> Why? So, um, so for everybody that's currently present and may not be later. Here. Okay. So uh -huh. you know that little light loading icon whenever Windows, that little circle thing? Yeah. For blue, Windows? The blue circle. Yeah. Do, you, yeah. do you know the official name for that? No. It's called a throbber. It's, it's, I can't make this. It's like, seriously. <laughs> that is its official term. Chad, I think there's another thunderstorm. I got to end stream. <laughs> um. like, we're, we're not trying to, like, to gaslight you Why? or anything. That's, like, the actual, the actual... name of it. <laughs> I can't, I Where don't would know you why. even learn that? Uh, I learned it in a YouTube short. <laughs> oh, so that's as good as saying TikTok. Okay. Well, if you but actually, no, it, I, if you Google it, that's the actual thing. Like that, that's real. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're welcome. You can think like that. I said you're welcome. I just. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to. Why did I just get an ad where my security camera's been for like ever? There's just an ad there now. It's just it just lives there rent free. They're on to you is what it is. Oh, you guys forgot the Massey. I told you earlier it was driving down. It's sitting over here. Well, now. it was on auto drive. And... Yeah. So, uh, chat, we had to restart the server again. Even though I just turned the server on. Nice. At least we figured it out early. It wants me to log in. I was just logged in. I'll log in again. But you weren't logged in. It's not a Harley. By the way, the, the chopper. Get down. Bro, I'm literally logged in on one email or on one browser, and then it wants me to log in. Why does everything have to be complicated, Sean? Why you gotta be so complicated? Kaden. The same. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. I'm I'm in shambles today. <laughs> and the information he just learned doesn't help. <laughs> oh now it just kicked me. I I do pay for the use I don't care anymore. I, mean, I don't care. care. I don't care about my security cameras right now. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah you do. I do, but I don't. But now, <sighs> I think I forgot to pay the bill. Oops, what it's happens? on auto withdrawal. <laughs> oh man! To watch Puma Flower Star Wars. Yes. Exactly. Why not both? <laughs> Uh, if you if you get me uh, drunk enough, I could start talking like Yoda if you really want me to. <laughs> I got a mean Jar Jar Binks for you there. Uh, no, I just saying. I can hit Jar Jar. All right. I wish I could hit Jar Jar. Let's be honest. <laughs> Dude's annoying. Oh, good old Jar Jar. You want to pick up the trailer? It's really heavy though. Nice. I have to pick it up. Put your back into it. You have two monitors, you can do both. Alright. Lift with my back in a twisting, jerking fashion, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Alright, but uh we decided we want to go with the other thingy you do for, right? The the flipper. The flipper. Uh, I don't know what it's necessarily called, but like the, yeah. Like flipper. You ever watch Flipper? I don't know. What was it show? called a launcher? It was a it was a show. Remember that? Uh, Chat, so. back me up. Flipper. We're gonna go with that one. We're gonna we're oh that's only okay. So we're gonna buy the baler. Yeah, two hundred sixty. Yeah, 000. we don't need the the silage though. Do we? Well, it's on there. Okay. 
Only two grand. I'm, I'm not gonna put anything in it though. I mean, I am putting it in here. I do have in my chopper. Yeah, I think it just it matters to have my one, 44 one pounds. 44 pounds of additive, okay? Let's go, old man. What's going on? Yeah, I remember Flipper. Remember Flipper. It was a show anyway, that's for sure. It was definitely a show. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, we still need to buy a couple of wagons, right? Yep. Probably only two, maybe three. Well, we can start with Probably two. two. And work our way up. Two and then, like, yeah. There's three of us in here, so that'll work. That'll work. Let underscore play underscore now just resubscribed for two months. Uh, let's play. Welcome back for two months. We appreciate the resub. How you doing, man? What's popping today? Hope you're having a great day. Going on, y'all. Was there ever a flipper in Gilligan's Island crossover? I don't know, but I feel like that would have been perfect, actually. Yeah. A John Deere S170 lawnmower, non zero turn. I gotcha. It, all that matters, uh, Dumb, is if you like it. That's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Let's play sick today. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Oh, he's lurking. That fast. Oh, man. That Taco Bell's hitting different, bro. Look out. <laughs> you straight to the turlet. Um, we're going to get the, uh, the big of these wagons and we're not going to get wagons. We're going to get trailers, right? The 20 wagon trailers, same thing. Yeah. Close enough. Or not. They have wheels. <laughs> and, and the wheels do go round and round. So good enough. Good enough for me. Okay. The wheels on the bus. Those are a hundred thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, we'll buy two of those. Ninety-seven thousand eight hundred seventy-six dollars a piece. You can back up a little bit there, bud. I'm trying to get some stuff. Eater bud. Rots. Haven't had a chance to cut with it yet. True. Stupid allergies. Yeah, they're fun. Yeah. I even took medicine today for them. Oh. Everything in the game is in dollars except the additive. It's in pounds. No, it's in dollars. What I was saying pounds is, is like the, the unit of measurement to fill it. I can change because we have, we don't have, it doesn't have gallons for some reason with the unit convert mod. So I can put it to tons or cubic feet or pounds. So I just run it in pounds, like, like pound, like a pound, like not a dollar pound, but like a pound. You know what I mean? Not like money, but like weight, weight. Yeah. Oh, you got the massive headache and sore throat. That sucks. Let's play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. First style's done, by the way. First style's done? Okay. Mm -hmm. Go get that cleaned up while I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for uh, tippers. Oh, well, I guess we got to set up the baler and the transfer thing and everything, too, huh? Uh, yep, yep. Mm -hmm. That would be helpful. <laughs> Probably, probably good to have those started. Uh, we need to make about 200 bales this time, okay? Or no? How much does the building hold? 250. Uh, and we need to make about 400 bales. So two buildings worth of them. Basically, yeah. But at 500. Might as well. Call it good. Be better yeah, than the mulching. Only 120. Nice. Do you not have any straw? Nice. Um, no, we're out of straw. There, there's two bales in storage. If you need straw, you take it out of the DMR mixer. Because there should be a fair bit of straw in there still. Like one, uh, I think one and a half million or something. Yeah. Like that. Everything I bailed the other day, I just put straight into there. Same thing with like, hey, I just go straight to there first. Fill that up. Uh, so we definitely need to plant lots of uh, straw crop. 
So we can actually plant wheat right now, like today. So before we fast time uh, tonight, we'll have to plant probably a couple of fields in wheat to try to build up a little bit of a stockpile. So I'm thinking like we did if we did one in like the 30 field would probably be enough. Okay, yeah. where's the other thing yet? No. What's that? Uh, the mover thing. Uh, the mover thing. I don't know where that's at currently. Uh, it's out back, actually, right behind the, the hay barn, or the, the bale storage. Got it. Yep, right behind it. I had to think. We can have some of your IRL grass. Actually, um... I hate to admit it, but my yard right now, you could almost bail my yard, too. It's pretty gnarly right now. Uh, tomorrow, uh, grass will be mowed here in town. I'll probably spend most of my day tomorrow on a, on a zero turn cut grass tomorrow, so I'm not complaining. Same here with the rain coming. I love it. I yeah, tomorrow's, in the field. tomorrow's our, our least of a chance of rain for the next, like, almost week, so like, our smallest chance of rain for... Oh, so it's just rain for you? Tomorrow's like like a twenty percent chance. The rest of the week's like way higher. So we're cutting tomorrow, basically. It's gonna have to happen. Dragons for awful wobbly. Dragons wobbly? Wobble, 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 wobble. Probably because you're driving on the road at like ninety miles an hour. No. Right. Only twenty five. Ninety one? Okay. Uh yeah. Special Pats here. What's going on, bro? I have no choice. I have to cut tomorrow. Yeah. It won't it's well, I think we're done. We might not be done with rain yet tonight. There's probably gonna be some more rain tonight, but that should be it. Special bat. All right, special bat. Yeah. Speaking of rain, I think I might be heading out because I need to go uh, probably work work another field before it rains. You better hurry. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try to at least get it some done. You got severe thunderstorms heading your way right now. Hell, buff, John. I try. Well, have fun. It's either I do it, I do it now, or it rains and then we yeah. just. I'd... I just. Do we need the Massey for anything? Or no? Not yet. Oh. Alright. Got everything, I think, set up. Okay. It's, say, I just don't want to do a little bit of work and then it can't get yeah. back into the field. Yeah, no. I, think I'm, right. I told my grandma, I think I might just stay here. Gotcha. Yeah, so. Uh, so last year, yeah, last year, yeah, there were times you couldn't buy a rainstorm last year. This pattern we're in right now is very active, and it's just, it's like, just doing its thing, man. Just doing it. It's just doing it, chat. Um. Alright, are you guys, somebody's approaching with a wagon right now, I think. Cool. Was I left almost there, and I'm all right. not all right back right now. I'm trying to put a wagon, it goes up on two wheels. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, not you're wrong. pulling it with the. No, you got to no, pull that no, with something he's else. Not wrong. It does go up on two He's pulling wheels. it with the two track, though. That that turns so aggressive. No, the 1050 does it too. We didn't have any problems with this the other day. Same wagons. Yeah, these. Operator well, error. And, and your hitch height is way lower. Yeah, oh, these, it looks good. These, Looks okay. Yeah, this. Just drive in a straight it. line left. You're fine. Okay. That's the solution. Yeah. The left. Good luck. I don't know how you come back. <laughs> Godspeed. Go well, like, put your cruise on like you know five miles an hour, and you'll be fine. Everything. Everything's fine. Everything, Everything is awesome. awesome. <laughs> Everything's cool. You're not part of the team. There was an 8RX in the shop when you picture more up. Nice. 
I have not seen an 8RX up close yet. Really? I've seen one. Well, I don't hang out at John Deere dealerships very often, Trent. <laughs> well, neither do I, but I still see one when I go past the dealership. Well, the only dealership that I really go by that has, like, big John Deere tractors is the one over in, like, Jerseyville, Illinois, and it sits, like, way off the main road. So I've, I've seen, like, an 8R from, like, a distance, like, you know, a couple football fields, but I've, I've never, like, been up close to it. That makes sense? It makes sense. I think so. Not sure, but I think it does. But yeah. Is it Jerseyville? No. That's yeah, it's odd. Jersey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's, what's, what's wrong with the Jersey? Left? Yeah, there's a pond there. He's just washing the tractor, that's all. I had, to, I had to put a little bit of water in the radiator and didn't want to stop for anything. So. You asked if they had any X9s on the lot. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, I just don't get around John Deere dealers very often, so. I don't think an X9 is something they would carry very often. No, it's Unless... kind of like order right now. The 700s? The S7s? Yeah, I can see them having those. Yeah. Are... Well, not the new S7s. No, I, uh, what's next year, right? Yeah, twenty-five. Yeah. And even like your S series coming, a lot of times those are gonna be like ordered machines. You know. Why not? Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean you might as well know. Yeah. Like the the one viewer that I saw that I know of, for some reason like their main selling is like a lot of the newer stuff. Yeah. So I guess this dealership, they tra these guys trade in their S6 series combines for the X9s. Oh, wow. So at this one dealership, there's, I don't know, four or six X9s. Oh, dang. With a couple, like, new 9Rs. Gotcha. JRX. It had 690s on the lot. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the guys that, that bought Grandpa's farm. Uh, a couple of years ago now, it's it's the last combine that they bought. You know, the one's older than dad, so he's not buying any more combines. He's done. He's already told, like, the next generation, he's done. You guys want a new combine, you go buy it yourself. And uh, the only reason he bought the combine at the time, he got a phone call from the dealer. And he, and the dealer basically said, hey, you, you're normally so-and-so's customer salesman. You know, did you guys order a combine by chance? And they're like, no, what's going on? Apparently the guy was an alcoholic, the salesman. And he actually like got really sick and ended up in the hospital. But while he was in the hospital, here comes this brand new John Deere S7, uh, S790. Uh, I think it, maybe it's a uh, S780. I think it's an S780. S780 or 90, one of those two brand new from the from factory shows up and nobody knows who's come by it is and they're like we don't just order these to have them in stock you know it's somebody orders it because it's sold and uh so finally they like went through this guy's list of all of his customers and nobody fessed up that it was theirs uh so the guys that that bought grandpa's farm they're like yeah we'll go ahead and buy it for like a discount you know we'll do you a favor you know it was kind of funny <laughs> Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? What's popping? All right. Uh, is everything working there, Left? I don't know. Oh, oh right. Back up. Back it looks... I mean, it looks like it's working. I mean, it's kicking bales out. It's, uh... Transfer... The transfer's transferring and the baler's bailing. So, I don't... What else do we want in life, right? That's about all we need. A million dollars. Besides, yeah, that, that'll work too. Just That'd one. Nice. I'd have to be greedy and selfish, you know. <laughs> I mean, I could turn, turn that into a lot more money. Turn that at least into five dollars, right? Mm hmm. All right, fun fact if somebody hands me a million dollars, I'm going to do everything in my power to open a Casey's in my town I live in. Because we don't have one. You might need more than a million dollars to do that. Well, you can borrow money, though, right? Yeah. 
Nothing like a random order for a million dollar combine, right? Right? I'm gonna do, some, I guess, an end row across here, maybe, or two. And then uh, we'll run north south after that. Try to square this field up a little bit. Might get a little awkward left. Uh, how's it going? Welcome in. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. I can't see there's trees to the how you do? <laughs> how, how you doing? How you doing? Shout out to Wendy Williams. Anyway. Is this one I just need to, like, take the trailer and fill it up and drop it off for you? Probably wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't know if I can hitch up to it. That other harvester can't hitch up to it. Yeah, you can, hit, you can hook up to those. We're okay. fine. We're fine. We got this. We're doing... Good thing I got the extra long pipe on this thing, huh? Mm -hmm. Working great. Uh, technically, you would probably lost about 10% <laughs> of it in the field by now, but... All right. Yeah, whatever. As long as your number's going up, that's all that matters. That's all that matters to me. Um, actually, which one is you on the thing? You're right there. Okay. You know, I keep looking for left over there, and it just doesn't work. Oh, the Kentucky Derby was today, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, I missed it. I understand. If remember. F1 sprint was today, and or uh, yeah, the sprint race was today in qualifying. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool, cool. I think you're full. Rat. You missed it too. Surprised <laughs> when I watched that when I was disky. Well, I saw it yesterday on TikTok like Portnoy. Dave Portnoy was in uh, 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 Louisville. And uh, he was talking about like betting on races, and I just kind of never put two and two together that like the, it was Derby weekend. So yeah, but it's all good. Usually I'll watch it, but like I kind of it's whatever, you know. Pops gets kind of into it. I mean, he doesn't like bet money or anything, but kind of cool to see the history on it. Yeah, yeah. Because I guess today was the hundred. 50. Wow. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, and they yeah, play yeah, like I... the Kentucky. The, they play the you know, it's, it's the It's kind of like the Royals, how they have all the pomp and circumstance, you know? Same thing. It's just kind of right. fascinating. Right at like all the lady or women's hats from back in the 1860s, I think. Oh, wow. The Kentucky Derby NASCAR of the 1890s. I mean, pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Travis Kelsey was there. Was he? Not surprised. Josh, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Welcome in. Hope you're having a great day. That's funny. Dude. Not surprised that he was there. It's funny right there. I don't care who you are. Big, big Al. I don't care who you are. Just saying. Spy, what's going on? Pop. What's happen? All I know is we need to get back on the other side of the field. This is going to kill the run this far for you guys. It won't affect me as much as it's going to affect a lot. True. Wonder if his woman was there? You mean Miss Taylor Swift? I don't know. T-Swizzle? T-Swizzle in the Hez house? <laughs> Weekend to yourself. It's your Friday today. Gotcha. Wife said a... Oh, you're unsupervised? Oh, boy. Do we have, like, a Leonard situation? <laughs> Leonard's unsupervised, too, so... Oh, great. Dude, when he was talking about, like, having to put his own clothes in the washer... That was cracking me up. Like, poor guy, you know? 
Poor guy. <laughs> Left on your way back yet? Nope. Do you Why mean not? nope? I'm unloading right now. Yeah, he's just now unloading. <laughs> I was like, there should have been plenty of room to unload. You just... Yeah, I said, I think it was almost empty. Took a minute to get here, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just watch the operation for a minute. Chat, we're using the round, the, the go vial. Stationary round baler, which is very loud. That's okay. And it's puking the bales right into the... To the, to the, to the, to the barn. So. Actually, the other thing's kind of loud, too. The, the TMR mixer right there. It's kind of loud, too. Yeah. Uh, but that's I, okay. I do think that flipper is probably the way to go. Where, like, anyone that wants to do kind of what we're doing. Yeah, the flipper, flipper the end up flipper works a lot better. Just... Yeah. Just so it runs work. Yeah. Go ahead and start this up. Let it feed the cows for us while we're uh, while we're doing our thing as well. Because why not? Why not? Oh, yeah, you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Bapping. Oh man. At least these storms are like. Not in the part of St. Louis where I live, you know, We're on the east side right now. I y'all know, I don't live on the east side. I could live north or south or east or, or, or west. North or south or east. Yes, I did. I know. What? Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, bye. Yeah, I think we're done with storms for tonight, pups. Sorry, pops. I have a live update with pops. Taking out trash. I know it should be at least here in I don't know an hour or two. You better go get doing some tillage, boy. I'm not doing tillage, yeah. I'm not. What are you doing in the field, then, Trent? Uh, that's what I was gonna go do, but uh, uh -huh. about probably a half hour to get over there. But I don't know. Oh, so what you're saying is you don't even want to start because it's gonna rain. I got you. That's the half yeah. hour work can be done. Yeah. No. You gotta first like. Make your borders, okay, and then work within the borders. You know, you know, Tran. It just sounds like you're not a smooth operator. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I only have a 13 foot implement. Not very smooth with it. Um, it's, it's not the size of the implement; it's how much of a smooth operator you are. You know, operator. No, okay. Alright, so Lav or uh, 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 what's your name? Black Hat will be back before Left gets full. Yep. <laughs> Probably not, uh -huh. but close. Oh, no, I, I will be. <laughs> He's doing a lot of complaining. Wow. 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 But I'm in the correct industry to do it. Do you come back? Puma plow. Dear. Dude, all of our... Listen, listen. All of our creeks and waterways are full right now, okay? Just saying. We need a couple days to, like, drain some water right now. We got we got eight tents here at the house earlier today. And... Well, it was about two. I guess it was like an hour and a half or something. So it, I mean, it rained hard a couple times, but still. Eight tenths is pretty pretty healthy. So yeah, not to mention last time it rained, which was like Thursday night, Friday morning, like overnight basically, we had 1.1 inches of rain then. So there's that. The projection on that. Yeah, this is the extra long or, or this is the long long pipe on this thing. We paid paid money to upgrade it, you betcha. That's right, Sean, yeah. Two inches in two hours, dang. It's crazy. I'm telling you, man, we need we need a little bit of time, a couple days of a breather to let, you know, rivers drain. 
let rivers river and do their thing. Let rivers river. Yeah. I don't think I've heard of that one before. Sounds like the start of next week to Wednesday. Could it be another severe weather? I haven't checked that, that map in a little bit. Gotta get into multiplayer. If you're interested in joining us, I'm just gonna jump in front of the question now. Uh, if we if we do welcome new people, uh, but uh, to join us, you gotta join our team speaking, get to know us a little bit off stream before joining um, our server. So, just for everybody's information, okay? Um, oh, yeah. Day four forecast looks like an enhanced risk. Okay. For basically. Oklahoma, north of Oklahoma, so Kansas, Kansas City. <laughs> Does it have any of the, like, the nadir? Or just, like, enhanced for I, storms? I have not looked. I don't know if the that day four saying. usually has the nadir part. To be honest. So, yeah, I haven't, I haven't looked at that one. I've been, I've been paying very close attention to river, uh, gauges here lately. But not so much to the, uh, that one but yeah you know what should i should i do another end row here because like the trees are going to be awkward right you probably should do another end row, right. after think. we turn around we'll do it uh going back that way yeah oh no i thought i lowered my header <laughs> as i'm humming smooth operator over here <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord Jesus! There goes the corn. He's in fact not a smooth up. How big is the field? So this is actually four fields. This is Alma, Missouri, is the map, and we've plowed four fields together, so it's it's pretty healthy. So whatever we don't chaff out of this field, because we definitely will not have to chaff at all. Uh, we're gonna make about four hundred. I don't know. We're going to make a few bales. We're just, we're just going to do 500 bales. Somewhere in that neighborhood, yeah. We're just going to fill both. Probably just fill, fill two buildings, parts. yeah. Yeah, just, just fill the, the both buildings. It's it's easier so, than counting. Yeah, if we make about 500 of these bales, um, we'll be happy on our silage then for another year. Um, and then whatever's left in this field, we will mature out as corn and, you know, harvest it as common. <laughs> and then we can... Uh, 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 dry it. We have a corn dryer on here, of course. And then uh, sell it for cash. There. Are you alright there, Black Cat? You good? I'm waiting. For what? Opposite direction? Um, no. no. Oh, you want to go that way for an end row? Yeah, I thought we were putting another oh. end row on it. I'm in a north-south end row. We can go the other way. I'm fine with that. Yeah, okay. You didn't say which end row. You just said an end row. Okay. These things are kind of... All right. Add well, to be able to turn right, these okay, without it's... like flipping them. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, four enters up here would be good. Yeah, four, or two paths, two two rounds. Farmers talking rounds. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how long will it take to harvest the whole field? Uh, if we were combining it, I I'm not sure. I'd have to get a combine out here on uh, course play. I could tell you then, but I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Not sure. Not sure. When you said you had 200 bales of soybean, you actually had 500. Closer to 500. Dang. That's fun. That's fun. We do what? Hit any? Uh, I was surprised I had any tree limbs on any of those trees I went through. <laughs> Did you just scratch the paint on that tractor? That thing's brand new. It has four hours on it. It ain't brand new no more. Gosh. Speaking of trees, Jet, one of these days I need to spend a bunch of time in here and work on that north field. I've already cut down some trees. Oh, somebody moved that track, so that was not... Not where I left it. That's fine. Uh, some of those trees I've already cut down, but there's a lot more I want to cut down up there. 
Yeah, we bought some land across the railroad. We did. We bought land. I bought. I. I. It was kind of between like the grass fields over uh, over west of mm -hmm. our farm, or go north. And I chose to go north because it's more land. Okay. And plus, there's more trees to cut down. So money, money, money. Fair enough. You know, Mr. Krabs is coming to hang out with us. So. Uh, we're basically going to plow together 21, 22, and 23. That'll make a big field. And then maybe eventually like put 24, 26, 27 into it. I don't know. We'll do that or not. But we could. Yeah, I kind of think doing like two or, two or three fields up there probably yeah, would be better. It's probably the better way to go. And then uh, the other lands we were talking about were here like 40 to 35, 38, all that. Got it. But the problem is that comes with another homestead and a cow barn that I'm going to want to fill. And I can solve that problem. Delete Sell the, the cow barn. <laughs> Sell the I'll barn. Go I'll go hide the barn. Uh, ah, you saw me. Ah. And then and then we can put some sheds in the homestead. Well, we could also split up some of our equipment, too. That would be a good idea, actually, yeah. Park all of our semi-trailers somewhere. We have so many of them. That would probably not be a, too bad of a homestead just to take and just, yeah. if we can get enough money around, uh, just plan it and put semi -sto storage there. Yeah. Yammer Rider, what's going on? I've actually been thinking about, like, just putting a building up, like, when we have a million bucks, just put one building up in our homestead. Okay, yeah. here, let me, if I can fly there. Quick, let me know when you're back at my tractor, or back at my harvester. Okay. Chat, we're going for a flight. Oh, there you go. I just saw you. Uh, I'm a so boy. here in the homestead, I I uh, I kind of could see putting a building back in this area behind the grain bins, or east of there. Sorry, west of the grain bins for backing in semi trailers, or just put a something open shed. Or yeah, like open shed, shed for like kind of yeah something, and and even maybe get rid of the quonset and like tuck a building kind of in the corner here. Probably should get rid of that thing. And then Tom, on the one that he made in the homestead, he put a building out here where the manure trailers are. Flurry tanks. And that looked good, too. Kind of expensive, though. Well, a little leveling is involved, yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit, yeah. A little bit. But not, not that much, really. I mean, it, it would probably look good. I'm not saying that. It's just it's... Yeah. It's definitely going to cost some money, though, to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm not planning on joining all the fields. Um, I'm not. I'm not. At least yet. No, I'm, I'm not. But no. It's like, so the whole thing, the, they call it the par parallax occlusion, I believe is what Giants called it. And it's basically if you can't see something, the game doesn't render that eye object in, right? So... By having tree lines between certain fields, um, you you are able to block out like town, where you can't see town off in the distance, right? So therefore, it doesn't have to load town. So therefore, in theory, your game runs better, right? So we're not going to plow the whole map into like two fields. We're not going to do that. We've done that before, uh, but we're not going to do that on here. Uh, plus, you know, if you think about, like, where we started, right, with a whole bunch of tiny equipment, it made sense to have tiny little fields. Now that we're, you know, sized up on planters and combines and sprayers and tillage and, and everything basically has been sized up, it kind of makes more sense to maybe combine a couple of these fields. Plus, it, like, you know, here at the homestead, for sure, it, it makes it a lot more efficient to have giant, you know, try to get them as rectangle as possible, basically, fields, right? Uh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? So we will always, always combine some fields on a map. Um, I resisted a long time on this map. I really didn't want to. But after playing for 400 and something hours, it's like, all right, let's go ahead and combine a couple fields. But we're not doing them all. Oh, wait, you're only, wait. Yeah, you're fine. Hey. Yeah, goodbye. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so we're not, we're not doing them all. 
Yeah. Not doable. If Giants ever claims they're the first one to do this with the <laughs> hiding objects behind things, yeah. they're not. No. no. A lot of your video games you play do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, John Works, this is Alma, Missouri. How you been, man? What's poppin'? We are still on Alma. We've been here for... Hang on, I can tell you. Hang on. Two months? Uh, we are at 449 hours before today. With at least one person on the map. That's basically what that means, right? Uh -huh. So, at least one person's been on the map for 449 hours now. So, we've been here a lot. And at least on Saturdays, a normal Saturday, I mean, it's, it's, we've had six, seven, eight people in here. So, uh, we get a lot of work done. Plus we have of course play an auto drive. So even if we don't have a lot of people, we can still get a lot of work done. So, yeah, it's all good, but it's been fun. I've really been, uh, been enjoying this map like a lot and that's probably why we're still here because I've been having fun with it and y'all should know by now if I'm not having fun on a map or a game or whatever then we're going to move on so as long as I'm having fun we're we're locked in about that and we also kind of we limited ourselves too yeah we started off map. with small equipment old equipment we've, we've oh. set a couple parameters we're playing on hard difficulty yep and the uh, loan too so yeah, we're not, we haven't taken the loan thing. out yet. Yeah, that's that's probably the biggest thing is the loan, because yep. that's usually how we get half our equipment at first. Yeah, our, our yeah. farmland, one of the two. Exactly. Yep. Oh, the car and texture is incredible on this map. I absolutely love the car and uh, texture. Plus, plus, just like the way like what's left after you harvest corn you know the the weeds in the field and you know all that you know wow all right yeah yep yeah, yep yeah. so um you know what's the okay, weeds what? and with the crops and stuff yeah. um I don't, I don't know if you noticed this or not yeah but with the corn especially uh, with the stocks being left over anytime we run over it actually takes a bit of mulching away so i don't know if mulching is something we want to continue to do uh true we're not getting full benefit mm -hmm. yeah it's on some crops not all yeah. of them, obviously but yeah obviously uh, corn we're driving back and forth on it a lot yeah jeff what's going on how are you well the, the other thing too is we're kind of getting to the point where is it worth our time to start keep on doing mul mulching and rolling? Uh, true, although it really doesn't take that much time, and especially the mulching, a lot of times that gets done off stream, so it doesn't, that doesn't affect me, you know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. it's like, I'll just set it up and just go away. And besides, you know, yeah. you know, it gives Dan something to do, okay? Okay, fair enough. But yeah, so it's, <laughs> We kind of got to start. Yeah. It's fun. It's useful. I understand like that part of it, but yeah, we're, we're probably past it to be real. All right. I'm going to go, yeah. uh, South all the way down, back down. Okay. Yeah. Like follow the edge of the field here in a second. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, we're just, you know, chaffing. That's all we're doing, man. We're just, we're just, we're making some, uh, we need to make about 500 bales is what we're uh, that's our target we're trying to fill two buildings did we get those two straw bales out there we should have straw made, bales i bet dan got them out already uh, it's me i didn't see anything in the building okay dan dan was in here go. uh thursday night after i stopped streaming so okay. uh we doing... will probably stop here so okay because we're gonna well we're gonna run out of room Oh, are we going to fill up the transfer thing? Yeah. Dang. Problem with having the bigger harvester, huh? Yeah, because left... It has 60% in it right now. Left just oh, yeah. started unloading into it. Is that on the 7810? Or the... Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's 7810. The, the 4755 is the baler. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
I figured they didn't really need that much horsepower. They, so. Actually, the, you know, for the physical size of that baler, <laughs> oh, I, mm -hmm. it uses like no horsepower. Uh, yeah. 120. That baler to me should be like a 200 minimal horsepower baler. And then the other thing uses 100 allegedly. So. Uh, mm -hmm. The other thing we can do, we can drop it down to one while that catches back up. I can start planting the wheat or something. In yeah, that's fine. Yeah, whatever, yeah. Yeah, that worked. Yeah, because by the, the time I get, I'm 70% full right now, it's not going to be able to take everything I have. Because um, even though it slowed you guys down, get that done, but it's still about the, the same, yeah. Or we could do, uh, well, that wouldn't be any slower, probably. If, like, we, we bring the extra trailer out here, right? I tow a trailer. We run swap C trailers. Right, yeah. We can do it either way. Swap C trailers. Wait, it's scoop C. Absolutely. And notice, notice that like that field over there's been limed. Yeah, Dan was in here. I literally came right. back and yep. Dan was just in here liming the world and like nothing needed lime. You know, it was just like a little down, but he's in here liming everything, which is great. It's so handy. Because then hey. I don't have to do it. Oh. That means it's done. That's all that that means. Yeah. If you just want to drop that trailer there, yeah, left. I. Is that... I will find another tractor. Only one day. Okay. I can drive in and grab it. I'll grab it. Okay. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh, bad. Man, oh, man. Yeah, so we should have gone with the smaller harvester, huh? The chop. But I figured uh, it was e too slow the other day. E either way, I think we'll we're we're close enough to where yeah. I think it's just not gonna be. Anything. We'll be fine. We've made we've made seventy two bales. Dang, that's fast. I feel like that didn't take that long. The other option is is to get another baler <laughs> and transfer station <laughs> and just load one really light goes. Really no, no, get after just, it, huh? No, you just get more transfer stations. You just keep on adding on the transfer <laughs> stations until until you get enough to where it's actually capacity. Yeah. Actually, yeah. hold on. I don't think it works on this map. No, because we we own. You guys may not know this. I think Left knows this, but Blackie, you probably don't. We own a mother bin, but it doesn't say chaff on this map. It's not a Stevie map. Okay. But it's up north. It's at the sawmill. Interesting. Uh, it's for harvesting it, the north field. I, it's probably going to be needed, to be honest. Yeah, well, so what I did the other day, I had peas in that field, right? Which not super high yielder, but they're, they're decent, right? And I, I had that sitting there, and I only ran one truck so that I didn't have any collisions on corners or in home, like just no risk of collisions. And I never had to babysit the truck the whole time then. I mean, it makes sense. May the 4th be with me. 0313 cheered Dex 100. Your title reminds me of a similar joke. What do you call the totalitarian head of the potato community? A dictator. Left. Send Lord. that send that over to Sean, huh? He'll make uh you know make a title out of it. Uh Bear, what's going on? Thanks for the bins, how are you? Pop. I don't, I don't know if Bear Bear had class time yet. I don't think Bear hasn't had class time yet. You say glass time? Class. Class. Class time. Like I was like, back to school. I was like, wait, glass time? Was he getting some limes out? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what he are we talking be. about here? Point 2016 just resubscribed yeah. for 78 months. Puma Plo Plo. Yo, Hoyt, welcome back for 78 months. Do appreciate the resub. How are you? What's popping? Uh, by the way, I was just able to unload. unload. Okay. Uh, if we're planting wheat, do we want to not plant wheat right away? And uh, what do you call it? Slurry that field? Uh, we can slurry after. We can okay. still, we can slurry after and then finish it All with right. uh, liquid or like 
pellet or pellet or spray fertilizer. Yeah. 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 I'm just trying to think because we have so much flurry uh, yeah. we're gonna need to deal with a lot. somewhere. A lot somewhere. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny? Uh, Black Cat, I got a full trailer for you here in just a second. But oh, don't worry, you're not gonna have an empty trailer for a long time. <laughs> Well, that's fine. I'll work on end rows and stuff. Right. I will smoke. go grab. I'll just start the slurrying then while I'm waiting for a trailer to empty. Okay. Well, let him go ahead and plant. That makes sense. Sure. It's just a texture. You have too many textures, you know? Too many textures going on. Jack plays. What's going on? How are you? Or should I just be a one-man show over here? Like, is that Baylor that slow? Can I just run a one-man show? Oh, it's you're gonna be pretty close to being a one-man show here. I might go grab the other planter and start planting with him. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it's 82 percent right now. In that transfer station. <laughs> I might be a one-man show out here, Jack. I'm, I'm, I'm hauling 1,100 uh -huh. to it yeah. right now. What is that? Sl slime? I can't. That has to be a typo, right? Slime no. Rancher Two. That's a game. It is a game. The heck yeah. is that? Uh, it, you basically go around capturing slimes on the ground. There's like cat ones, different ones, stuff like that. Uh, they eat mushrooms. They eat themselves. Uh, you grow them and you sell them. All right. Yep. There, there's a lot more to it, but that's like the si very simplified version of it. All right. All right. Today I learned. Do cat simulator games out yet, John? I don't think I don't know if cat sims out yet. Bear, what's going on? Hey. I'm trying not to hack into the microphone tonight. Oh no! Are we sick today? I don't know. I've got this like nagging, like tickle in the back of my throat. Do you have the hundred day cough? It might that might be what it is because honestly uh, i heard that on youtube from a, like a farmer i watch on youtube uh he said it and i was like bro that's me because like occasionally earlier today i had a coughing fit still and like kind of might have threw up a little bit even it was great oh well, that's yep. a yeah. fun story you get coughing and you feel like there's something you uh, know mm -hmm. stuck you feel like there's something and there's not something yeah oh no there was something it came oh out <laughs> so uh glad John, there was a trash know, can there you know i don't know if you want to mute for less uh class time or oh or, needs or, to hear it again oh, oh uh, go, go ahead because i didn't really listen the first time so so, so bear uh-huh you know whenever you load a program right you know that little spinning icon that windows does chat don't listen it's okay yeah do you know there's an official name for it And that oh, official name is called a throbber. Is Rob it really? Robber. <laughs> Dead serious. <laughs> this is this is not a it's not this, a joke. It's not a joke. Not a joke. It this is, is a, it's official it, thing. It is so a, if you look so it are up, you saying that every time in the late nineties, early two thousands, when I was trying to load a video and that spinny thing was there? Mm -hmm. You were saying I had a throbber. Yes. Uh -huh. Josh is <laughs> over here. I regret this. Interesting. Wow. Wow. Uh, we don't. We don't. We don't. We don't. Yeah. How do I address that without sounding like a jerk? We don't make derogatory stuff towards women here, right? That's all there is to it. Uh, and first off, I'm single as can be. Okay. I, I, when you look up single in the dictionary, there's a picture of me. All right. Just saying. Uh, but yeah, the hundred day cough. I'm telling you, it's a thing, chat. I'm telling you. It's a thing. I really don't hope it's a hundred days. Why? You don't want to deal with it for that long? That's right. <laughs> I don't blame you. I haven't been dealing with that long. It's been... It's been at least 
it's been a month now for me probably hmm. yeah so you know 30 days yeah. what's poppin welcome in how's it going so yeah uh bear if you like actually look it up it's it's that name and then also known as the loading wheel is how oh, it's oh. described like the wiki hmm. page is everything are well, we still it's weather wiki. man john well it's not the only place that says that but uh, I do have weather pulled up. There's nothing exciting, at least in the St. Louis area, to talk about. There's some severe thunderstorm warnings south uh, east of St. Louis. Nothing not on the east coast, right? It's not. I've, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, who so. cares about baby? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got my low. Like, I loaded a radar out of St. Louis today, okay? Because I thought we were going to get missed by the one storm, and man, it hit us. It hit us pretty aggressively, so I thought we were going to be missed. Oh. Nope. That's what happens when you try to punch a cloud. Missed. Wow. So we <laughs> better. Coach, you're doing great. How are you? Welcome in. All right, so apparently I'm a one-man silage uh, show now because we're making these bales uh, with this bigger chopper, and it, the chopper's too fast for the baler. So, uh, this is my life now, chat. Yeah. Let me know Best. if you need help. Welcome or, to or my bear, house. I think it's, you're coming in right, Bear. I'm going to try. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, either that or Bear, bear can help. Well, we've already had a 0% tonight, Bear, so you should be good. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I'm more curious about the outbound packet loss. Ah, uh, yeah. 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 What's the thing filling the bailer? That's that Flagel transfer thing, Sean, that we've used. Uh, we started using that on uh, My Lands, or X by Stevie is where we initially used that. Um, it works great. It holds a fair bit, and it's just basically what its real intended purpose would be if you're, like, filling a semi-truck. And what I used it for on My Lands is I would run, like, a loading wagon in the field and then drop it off here and then have semi trucks running on auto drive to haul it to the to the homestead to the to the hit of Fergie, you know so that's what i originally wanted this thing for but it works for multiple applications including exactly what we see here so basically it's just more of a buffer and then it'll automatically transfer into the baler when the baler uh needs more so yeah that's what we got going on here. All right, I got 1%. I'm going back to the field, boys. <laughs> what going. is the capacity on that flagel? Um, it is... Whatever 2,800 okay. bushels is. Shop. Oh, okay. 2,800 okay. bushels, yeah. So 10,000 or 100,000 How, many, how uh, many of the trailer, of that trailer that you got? Dude, you're asking so many questions. I am, and I'm such a pain. I think it's three to four. So, okay, okay hang on. So this holds 39,000 pounds. It'll right? be... Listen, listen, Linda, we're doing math here. 39,000 pounds, and that transfer thing holds 100,000 pounds. So, just under three. Under three. Two, two, two and like a half. Yeah. And a 15 sixteenths. yep. <laughs> yes. Did I, did I hear a nine thirty seconds in there somewhere? Did I hear a niner? Was there a niner in there? Is there a 10 millimeter in there? Nope. We no, lost that a long that. time ago. <laughs> can't find that. Let me I'm know if you find one. I really need one. Interesting. Yep. You guys are on Alma. I saw a question about do cows make money in 22? Yes. Lots of money. Sorry, guys. We I got like 18 things going on, you know? I'm watching you know the weather. I got to keep my weatherman, you know, hat on. You know what you don't have going on? Uh, what? bear stuck at zero percent what any help at the moment he ain't got no help that's okay though because it's too slow for them to come help me because they, yeah, they just sit there full that's why i went to a one-man show mm. that makes sense because i'm too much of a smooth operator i mean here, here's what we could do to make it actually like so we're useful <laughs> you can go to the I got, of the field. I could go to the other side of the field just to make you guys drive back and forth, yes. 
<laughs> I was trying to refrain. What, from smooth operating? From smooth operating. But oh, there you go. Yeah. All right. We almost had a, a not smooth operator moment today. Well, not me. It was dad. And it was oh, his, no. his foot almost slipped off the, the brake pedal. Oh. You know the old mm. saying, if you can't dodge it, ram it. <laughs> well, you know. Well, well, almost happened. Almost came true today. <laughs> Got it. It was pretty funny. Uh, well, we had stuff sitting in the back of the, the truck, like right up against the tailgate. Uh, it wasn't against the tailgate when we got to our destination, so it kind of slid uh, all the way to the front. Actually, I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, there... Those, if you know, you know what a, what an old like five horse Briggs is. It's an old gas engine. Mm -hmm. uh, the mechanic at work uh, found one underneath his workbench. They're they're kind of cleaning up at work a little bit for dad where dad works, and he gave it to dad. And it's ancient, but I've ripped those things apart like a lot because all of our little tillers have those engines. And uh, so dad got a new one to mess with. I'm kind of excited. Just saying. All right, where do you, where do you want me at? Switching trailers with you? If you want to come switch trailers with me, that's fine. Yeah. Well, I'm use the long silage build. Right. Oh, the fence already on it. Never mind. I don't need this ADAR. Yeah. Wow, look at the homestead. There's so much more room for activities. Do, do you like the gravel? No. I like it a lot, actually. I, I like. It. I think it's I think cleaner. some I think some uh like some sporadic uh you know little grass yeah. pops here and there, a little bit of weeds, you know, kinda make it it's look a little bit more real. Kinda hard to do that though. I know what you're saying. Okay. Well I, I I would have liked to have matched what he had, but that's incredibly difficult to do. Oh that he took he has like the normal gravel texture. And that yeah. comes back through with yours, pretty much, that you have in certain spots and stuff. I like just having the straight gravel, not the river bottom. Yeah. Uh, gotcha, I'm a rider, gotcha. So it's a dual drive shaft, five horse brakes, if you, if you know, you know. And apparently, it's been sitting for a while, and it tipped over in the truck last night, and Dad got home, and he's like, what is that smell? The gas smells oh, no. so bad that's in that thing. It smells like turpentine. Okay. Old, varnish, old gas varnish, basically. It's horrible. Uh, watch that. Watch the paint. Yeah, well, I don't think it spilled that much on the bed liner, so. But, uh, and then today when we were, well, after it went sliding, we had to uh, stand it back up. So. Oh, that reminds me today. Uh, trying to get our roads there going which I don't oh, know yeah. if I'm going to be able to. Uh, the, definitely need to do something with the carburetor. Mm -hmm. The gas tank well, had gas in it. Oh. This is on the head. Mm -hmm. It might be in the oil now. Oh. So you got problems. Yeah. All right. That's fun. Let's see if I can get it going. If it fills with gas, I just, whatever. It has an on-off thing. I don't really need it for much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm right here, and I don't know how long this thing's been sitting around. The mechanic wasn't really sure how long it's been sitting around. So. <laughs> well, to make it smell like that, it's at least probably two or three years. It's probably more like dead or 15. <laughs> so, he's worked with dead forever, so. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, you know when you, like, you loosen the oil cap to like fill them? Like mm -hmm. small engines. Yep. When oil shoots out, that's that's generally a not a good idea. Not good. Uh, that's a problem. Do. Yeah. Yeah. You're saying the four stroke became a two stroke. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I hate when that happens. So I don't know how well it's also going to run because the tank is kind of rusty. Yeah, that's the problem with old metal tanks. You got to keep them full. Well, I, I blew it out the best I could. Yeah. With an air yeah. gun, just just trying to get all the chunks out. Actually, that reminds me. Although it's not as bad in the summer, it's the winter that gets you. 
condensation, the heating and cooling, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's that's why you want to keep like a full. Yep. In your vehicles, full, fuller the gas tank, the better. But I was thinking my Alice, I, I need to top that thing back up since Zach did that plow and I haven't filled it back up with gas. We try to keep it as plumb full as possible because that tank is pretty good inside. So I like to keep yeah. it that way. I actually Fair had enough. a generator with a metal gas can or gas tank. And we ended up taking a piece of chain. Okay. Mm -hmm. We took a piece of chain. And we wrapped it in an old bath towel and zip tied it to there. And we put that inside there and just shook the ever loving tarnation out of that tank. That kind of scrub, you know. Mm -hmm. It cleaned it up quite quite nicely, actually. It was beautiful when we got done with it. That's actually the generator sitting in this garage right now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think it's I, that one. Yeah. It's a Harbor Freight engine that oh. I got. Probably. Predator. No. I think it's their, their, their brand name, isn't it? Yeah, it's Owl. Oh. It didn't used to be. Oh, I got you. I, I think it's a Harbor Freight engine. Anyways, it's small, like, 212-ish gotcha. PC motor. It, it was back when they had, when the government got angry with the horsepower ratings. Ah. Uh, so everything had to switch to CCs and everything. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. So it's, it's... I want to say it's like probably five to ten years old. Oh wow! So, so Barry, you like that I'm doing these end rows? The Baylor's hopefully catching up, right? 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 Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the Baylor's caught up to enough to where you can put one load into it right now. Well, I got a full trailer. <laughs> 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 there you go. Hunting Kings, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Battlehawks won. Oh, they were playing in uh, St. Louis today, right, Sean? Dude, they are, like, selling that building out for, for the Hawks, man. It's impressive. I, I don't know how much... I haven't watched a lot of the, the USFL or whatever they're calling it. The I, I haven't watched a lot of it. But the little bit I have seen of watching from, like, other cities, there'll be, like, five people in the stands, and you go to St. Louis, and there's, like, you know, 45,000 people. It's very impressive, honestly. I mean, there's really nothing else to do in St. Louis, so... I know. mean, it's either that or you just, like, go shoot each other, you know? That makes sense, too. Yeah. Oh, uh, by the way, Bear, uh, watch those trailers. They get a little tippy. On, nah. the, on the corners. How do you get oh, going, man? Oh, good. Going good. But, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, hey, Bear, we had a Saturday... I think it was a Saturday night. Or a Saturday a couple weeks ago. Now, they weren't all in St. Louis, but we had a baseball game, a hockey game, uh, XFL, and an MLS game. So there that was, is pretty cool. There was lots to do. I mean, like I said, they weren't all here, but they'll go to, like, the bars and watch it, you know? For people that do that, I, I guess that's a thing. I, I've never done that. I wouldn't know. I prefer to buy beer cheap and yes. stay at my house. Exactly. Yeah, they kind of frown at you when you show up to the bar in your underwear, right? So, yep. Yeah. So, uh, another question right now. Um, do we have enough money to put down another storage tank for the liquid manure? Uh, no, considering we're at $516,000. So we have $16,000, basically. Uh, we can go a little under that. So the answer is uh, no deal. We ha we have some things to sell. The banker said no deal. Sorry. Are you well, like I this? Think, the daggerty? Look at this. I think the banker needs to rethink their offer. God, remember how All I said was we should try to stay above five. I know we're trying. We still got to buy like seed and fertilizer. We have milk to sell. We'll send the truck. It should be set up. Yeah, why is the truck not sent? I don't know. Send it. Does the dairy need filled though? I don't know. I've just been selling it. Here, I'm trying to pour a drink, and I need to turn. My life's in shambles right now. The, the dairy is not full. <laughs> Dude, if y'all if y'all want some sugar-free lemonade uh, mix, mm -hmm. Country Time sugar-free lemonade mix. Oh, my goodness. Okay, which truck has the milk tank? I might need to be sponsored by Country Time. I don't think any This segment's might. never brought to you by... I choose you. I told Dad today, I said, I have a problem. And he goes, what? And I said, I just can't stop drinking this stuff. 
Yeah. I can't drink much sugar-free stuff. I there's should. water in it. Yeah, there's water in it. Quite a bit. No, I just... The yeah, the sweeteners, I know. Taste. The, yeah. Just the taste. The aftertaste, really. Mmm. What gets me. I don't know. So Delicious, though. I take my 40-ounce uh, stainless steel thing. My 40, you know? Uh, fill that up, or put a whole bunch of that ice from my from my countertop ice maker, you know. Yeah. And how that, is that, by the way? I haven't had the I haven't heard the story on that. I'm loving it. It's like it's yeah. like McDonald's up in here, you know. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I yeah. I think you should have bought the one I I sent them. Yeah, I bought That's the one that was less than two hundred dollars, <laughs> not the like five grand one. Yeah. Hey, oh hey, my God. five grand? I don't oh, know. You have it, Bear. I sent it to you. What do you mean I have it? In you don't DMs. know if I have five grand or no, not. In your DMs. <laughs> you don't know what I do for a living. Wait. I don't, but you have kind the one of. that I sent him. I don't even travel. I travel, yes. Yeah, he's a professional much. traveler, jet setter. That's you know? it. That's all I do. Yep. Yep. It's paid yeah, that, would be, that might that might be the worst job ever. Wait, Speaking are you are you are you oh, a yeah. uh... I forgot about Le Left has another learning experience for us, yes. by the way. So another one? Yeah. I am in the wrong job. So I learned God. today that the average median salary for a weather chaser is anywhere from like sixty to ninety thousand dollars. Really, for a storm chaser? What? Mm -hmm. And the high can be like one thirty-two. Yeah, but you're Wait spending all your money on gas, right? Or who's paying for and you're gas? And you're Electric never home. Vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, tornado! I need to find an outlet. I don't think that works. <laughs> Who's who's paying that who's much money? Paying that. So, or is that like when you sell stuff to like the Weather Channel and stuff? Is that like where that is? You know, a lot of those guys they sell like videos and pictures and stuff to all these right. news like outlets. That's how they make their money, I think. Uh, I, and I hotels, was, fuel and hotels. Like, curious as to, it's like forty two dollars an hour is the average. That's wild. I would not have guessed it's that high. I didn't either. I was kind of curious, but you kind of have to go to school. To I say you probably idea. should be like a yeah, meteorologist. Be. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that would make sense. So have fun staring at radar for the next, like, ever of your life. I mean, shouldn't it be called a I mean, meteorologist now? So, you know. Wow. They don't study meteors, you know? Uh, Reed has, I think, three intercept vehicles. There's three dominators. I think. One of them drove past my house the other day, kind of. Anyway, back to the nugget ice. Bear, okay? Yes. I drink... All my drinks now have nugget ice in them. Well, why wouldn't they? I'm, I'm bougie, okay? I don't do as much, like, while I'm streaming, because I'm not going to, like, sit here and chew on ice while I'm streaming, because that's rude. Just saying. It's a little, little weird to do that during yeah, stream. But, like, if I'm not streaming, dude, I'm crunching ice, bro. Pounded ice. Just saying. Your dentist is gonna love you. It's soft ice, though. It's okay. Oh, yeah, that's all the matter. No, it's way so like it's better than chewing like the stuff out of your freezer. That's like that's... rock hard. You're not wrong, but it's still pretty. It's ice, so it's soft ice. It's fine. It's, it's still ice. Are we debating the hardness of some ice? Yes. The hardness of ice. Well, it's up, just certain ice. So here's the thing, though. The, the chamber where the ice is at is not refrigerated. Mm. So as soon as it's the ice... It's only reliant on its own. The ice is what makes it, keeps the ice cold. Right. So it constantly is melting. So it's like on the edge of melting, like, all the time. I can't really chew much because sensitivity for coldness on my teeth. Oh, bring it on. When are they going to fix the production pack? I have no idea. Still isn't fixed. <laughs> Apparently, at least not on console. Not a clue. Oh wait, where's where's Trent to badmouth him? I'll tell you who's not going to get an early release on 2024. Trent. Trent. <laughs> uh, thanks for the follow. I don't think any of us are. Appreciate you, welcome in. How's it going? I don't. I mean, I know I'm not going. I'm not. <laughs> so, if I'm not, none of y'all are. I, was like, I, I, I'm not, I already know that. Unless y'all got secret channels I don't know about or something. I don't know. You don't know what I do in my free time? I don't know what so, you do. I still got to write an email. <laughs> yeah, write me an email, Bear. Yeah. Dear Nail Polish. Okay, all right. Oh, 
Did that, did that start? Did that add start correctly? I said deer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, speaking of ice, you're gonna ice get room. me in trouble. Although we have different differing opinions okay. on hand fashion. So the ice is great. I mean, it's so. Just... What's the supposed to, who's the female supposed to go to? Don't worry about it. So I put I put I my lemonade's made with the ice, so it's really cold lemonade, but the ice stays in the in the thermos thing, you know, in my mm -hmm. in my Stanley, you know. Oh, you, hey, it's not a Stanley. Do you, do you guys have Food Lion? No. Oh, no. What's that? But there is a the truth. There is a grocery, a grocery store? store grocery store store chain out here. It's it may be regional, maybe just you know, kind of east coast. I've, kind of I've heard of it. Well. The, if you were to look up the lion on Food Lion, okay. it looks strangely familiar to the Stanley Lion. Oh. But now all the preteen girls that, including my daughter, uh -oh. that are waving their Stanleys around all the all the time, uh -huh. like on the on the softball field. Ah. Uh. I go, hey, hey, that's the that's the Food Lion lion, <laughs> and they look at it and they go. Oh my god. 